My name is Sean Cavanaugh, and this will be a demonstration of the AWS Cloud Control API with the Red Hat Ansible Automation Platform. AWS Cloud Control API is an AWS capability that introduces a common set of CRUD L, create, read, update, delete, and list APIs to help developers manage their cloud infrastructure in an easy and consistent way. AWS Cloud Control API is an alternative to AWS Resource APIs that may differ between different AWS resources. Red Hat Ansible has developed two Ansible content collections in the Amazon namespace. The Amazon.AWS collection uses the existing AWS Resource APIs, while the newer Amazon.Cloud collection uses the Cloud Control API. Here is a simple two-task playbook. The first task will create an S3 bucket, while the second task will retrieve information about this S3 bucket. As you can see, this is using the Amazon.AWS collection for each of these modules. Here is a playbook performing identical behavior using the Cloud Control API. As you can see, it is using the Amazon.Cloud fully qualified collection name. We are going to run the Cloud Control API Ansible playbook here, but inside Automation Controller. These two configurable input parameters are the local bucket name and the EC2 region. We will turn both of these into a survey. A survey inside Automation Controller is a way to prompt the user in a friendly question and answer way. I'm going to log into Automation Controller. This is the web UI and API for Ansible Automation Platform. I will then search for my Cloud Control Playbook. I will click the rocket symbol to launch the job, which immediately will prompt me with the survey. The first question is to fill out the region using the single select drop-down menu. The second question is simply a text area asking me for the name I want for my S3 bucket. As soon as I press the blue launch button, it will begin to execute the job and display the job output window. In the standard out pane, I can see the playbook output, just like I would on my terminal screen. If I log into my AWS console, go to the Amazon S3 service and click buckets, I will see the Ansible Fest bucket was created. Now that we've created an S3 bucket, we can store something there. AWS CloudTrail is an AWS service that records actions taken by a user role or an AWS service and records them as events. Our S3 bucket can be passed to the CloudTrail module, which will be used as a destination for our trail generated logs. Again, we'll go back to Automation Controller to kick off the job. This time, there's going to be three survey questions. Let's click Launch. First, we got to choose the region. Second, we choose the S3 bucket that we previously made. And finally, we choose a, a name for the trail name. We click the blue Launch button to launch the job. And since this is a single task playbook, it will complete very quickly. And there's the play recap. If we go back into the AWS console, we can go to the Cloud Trails service and see that the Sean test trail was created and operational. With Ansible Automation Platform, you can automate everything you were automating before in the previous APIs and collections, but now you have the option of using the Cloud Control API. Some benefits of this new collection include that it is automatically generated, which in turn allows us to rapidly introduce new AWS services and features. This can reduce the time it takes for AWS features to be utilized into your existing automation workflows. You can also mix and match the existing and new collections, allowing you more comprehensive coverage of AWS services. That concludes this demonstration of the Cloud Control API and Ansible Automation Platform. Here are some great options for next steps if you want to learn more about Ansible Automation Platform today.